Hey guys, welcome to Saturday Spotlight. Uh, up to number 21 uh, already. Uh, and normally, guys, uh, what I actually did on my uh, spotlights is I went back through and I actually numbered all of them, starting with the first one there, uh, all the way up, uh, the last one being 20. Uh, mainly because if in the future I maybe have make a reference to a past video, uh, I can just give you the, the episode number that that was. I'll make it a little easier to find, or probably just best put a link in the description uh, if I want to refer back to another video. But anyway, uh, I just decided to go back and number them. And we are on number 21 already. Uh, and this time in the spotlight is uh, another classic monogram. Guys, one of my uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, old-time kits, basically, uh, in the 124 scale. Uh, not necessarily just specifically this car, but my favorite, uh, one of my favorite manufacturers' uh, monogram uh, in and of itself. Uh, but here on the bench, we've got a 1958 Ford Thunderbird convertible uh slash hardtop uh now this car uh again this one I, there's not a whole lot uh that i've really got to tell about this one as far like i said in the last one as far as any kind of personal connections to real cars or whatever other than uh this was built i believe i believe this kit's from 87 or 88 and uh, that would have been right about the time that i built this car and i'll tell you why uh i'll tell you why i built that uh i had had recently seen the movie uh now this is recently uh referring to when i built the kit to that recently to that time uh had recently seen the movie la bamba and uh richie valens and now i don't know if in real life uh he had one uh for 100 percent for sure but i know in the movie it depicted richie valens as having a light blue uh 58 ford uh thunderbird convertible uh and so I don't remember if I got this as a gift or just uh, wanted that kit because of that car and just went ahead and uh, bought it with some, I had a paper route back in the day and I used to uh, use some of my paper route money to buy a model kit here and there. Uh, so, I, like I said, I, I don't remember as a gift or if I just bought that one outright, but I know I like the, the Richie Valens car in the movie La Bamba, so I, I definitely wanted to get my hands on that kit. And, uh, and here it is, guys. Uh, pretty much untouched from the way I built it. Uh, it's got a couple pieces missing. The license plate is missing off of it. And uh, it had an antenna right here. Had an antenna right here that actually uh, has come up missing over the years. But everything else, pretty much the way you see it, uh, is the way that I built it uh, back in uh, 87, 88 there. And uh, guys, I went back. Now, this, this kit originally, I believe, did have a 1958 release. I looked up on Scalemates. Uh, now this box art, I didn't specifically see on scale mates, uh, but I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, attach a picture at the end of the video, uh, of the actual box art. I kind of like doing that, uh, showing exactly which, uh, which era that, uh, this kit was that I, when I built it. So I'm going to throw that on the end of the end of the uh, video. Uh, so they had, uh, quite a, a different number of releases of this, uh, in different various box arts. The first one, obviously being in. Uh, 58, I believe, as best that I could figure that out. Uh, and then your subsequent ones, I know one was, they actually did come out with a La Bamba version. A matter of fact, I don't know if it was before this uh, release uh, or after. Uh, I'm not really sure on that one, uh, but I knew that I liked the Richie Valens car. So they did actually have one labeled as a Richie Valens uh, 58 T-Bird convertible and then obviously there i believe there was the elvira t-bird and then uh a couple other different ones along through there uh early 70s releases and whatever but anyway uh enough of that part we got a little bit of that covered there uh so i'm gonna just stop this guy here slide this back out of the way and bring him in like we always do i'm gonna take the top off because i know it's gonna start, start slip sliding all over the place and we'll just bring this guy in now there are some parts a little still a little dusty on this uh, this car actually sits out here in the, in the, the garage, quote unquote, woodshed. And so it was quite dusty. Uh, so I just took it in before the video and cleaned it up real good. And, uh, there is a little bit of dusty parts there in the, uh, interior that I did not get out all the way. Uh, but there it is guys. The first year. All right. All right. See, it's going to happen already. Hang on guys. Be right back. All right, guys. And just like that, with a little bit of video ingenuity, we're back. Uh, almost uninterrupted. Uh, anyway, okay, I'm going to hold on to all this stuff. Uh, get, 
stuff's going to want to fall off of me. Uh, now, again, uh, 1958, uh, guys, obviously, uh, being the first uh, first year for the uh, four-seater, uh, you know, 55, 6, and 7 were all the two-seater uh, sporty cars, and then they kind of moved up to the uh, sporty family uh, uh, car with uh, with the 58. Uh, got a little bit bigger, uh, and probably just a little bit more luxurious, I would say. Uh, and I would say maybe as far as ride and uh, and just looks and everything else, as far as that goes. But anyway, uh, it's got the white whites on it. Uh, nice looking uh, on any any kind of 50s car. Looks good with white whites. Uh, this does have the opening doors. Um, and I'll show that. I'll open all that stuff when I get it back on the stand. Uh, we're just going to move around here. Uh, it is missing a headlight over the years. Uh, it's come up missing somewhere along the way. Uh, but again, still pretty much intact. Uh, we'll show you the engine here real quick. If I can get the hood open. It wanted to kind of mess with me earlier when I... There we go. Not too bad. I'm probably going to lose some more parts here. But anyway. Uh, so there is... Now look at that. See? Tell you what. We're going to leave them off for now, guys. We're just going to look at a doorless car. So it doesn't keep uh, tormenting me like that. Ruin my video. All right, uh, so there's the power plant, uh, and that would have been, I think there was two options in 58. Uh, one would have been the uh, 332, 240 horsepower V8, uh, four-barrel carb, and I think that was a, considered an interceptor engine. And then uh, the 352 T-Bird Special uh, Interceptor, uh, which is 300 horsepower, uh, four-barrel. Now, that was just on some quick research I did. Uh, Google that a little bit and that's what I come up with. So uh, I don't know if that's not 100% correct guys uh, As I always say just let me know in the comments, uh, but there's the power plant there uh, Just kind of basic. I I really wasn't doing any wires back then at that time I just uh, built them up to get them built and put on the shelf and enjoy them as they're actually intended to be done it is always fun to uh, do the all the extra added accessories that'll make them look uh, really nice. Uh, but anyway, uh, so there's the interior. Uh, it has nice chrome inserts for the dash there. If it's gonna cooperate with me here, come on. Okay, there's the dash, the inserts for the dash. Uh, pretty well detailed interior, fairly impressive actually. And then moving around the back there, you get those four tail lights. Uh, typical Thunderbird styling, and actually the 58 uh, Fairlane actually had uh, taillights uh, somewhat resembling that. So, uh, again, the chrome's thinned out on this over the years, uh, but like I said, this is one I'll probably be in that it, it looks decent as it is. Uh, I'll probably never uh, take it apart and redo it. I'll probably just leave it the way it is. Uh, it's part of my modeling history, and uh, it's nice to go back and look and see uh, how you built then versus uh, where we're at now. So uh, I think I'm just going to leave this one the way it is. Get you a shot, shot of the bottom side here. And then I don't think I painted this. I think that was molded in black. And I figured, well, it's, I wanted it black anyway, so what's the sense in painting it? So there that is. Uh, missing a pipe here somewhere along the way. And uh, it's pretty basic stuff under there. Unibody construction. And then let's uh, let's set it up here, and then of course your top, obviously. And I did not paint the chrome trim on there. And this was painted probably. Uh, this would have been a tester's rattle can uh, from back in the day. And uh, you know, if I took a polish to this, that actually would probably still clean up pretty nice and look pretty good. There's a decent shine on it right there. Uh, and then I just hand hand brushed uh, some paint uh, for the headliner color there. And then we'll put these doors on and we'll just set her up on the stand and uh, and let her spin there with the doors. Now, this car was, before I go that far, uh, it was molded in seafoam green. Um, and again, back in that time, I did not primer anything. I just painted it because I wanted to paint it and put together so I could enjoy it. And uh, so that's why uh, I didn't bother painting the underside of this blue. Uh, and it remains the uh, the original plastic color. So... Not a terrible color uh, to cover as far as I molded in. Uh, it was fairly light, uh, so it, it wasn't too bad. It, it, it wasn't hard for this blue to cover like I wanted it to. And uh, you see again up in here there, uh, up in those fenders there again, 
uh, just didn't bother painting up in there either back in the day. Uh, now, obviously, if I would build one today, I would because that's just where I'm at. That's just how I like to build them and uh, get everything uh, covered if I can. So I'm going to see if this guy's going to prop up. And uh, like I said, guys, oh, yeah, look at that. Very nice. Well, we're going to leave that top off and we spin with the top off. Uh, like I said, guys, uh, this is going to be a short and sweet one. Uh, but I wanted to bring this this guy out to you, uh, as I did. I did always like that car from the uh, from the uh, show La Bamba, and I wanted one of my own. And I found some paint that fairly matched, closely matched it, and uh, had one and put it on the shelf. So, all right, guys. Like I said, as short and sweet as that was, that's all I've got for this week. Uh, the monogram, nineteen fifty eight Ford Thunderbird uh, convertible uh, with the uh, removable hardtop. So with that, guys, I don't think I've got anything else to say on that. So we're just going to close it out right here. I hope you guys have had a good week and I uh, hope you're looking forward to a great weekend. So until next Saturday Spotlight, this is Eric from Eric's Model Garage saying have a great day, God bless you, and happy modeling.